So here's a vehicle that was sitting for two years. Well, not sitting, it was being driven, but the air conditioning was sitting two years because after it was repaired, it was never charged. And um, we all know the Chevy's leak in the upper top right corner on this side of the condenser. So initially that was one of the first places that I described, I think in the other video. Let's see what we have here. Let's look at some lights here. Let's see. Can you see the green? Oh, where's my other light? Oh, that battery's going dead. Oh, yes it is. That battery's going dead. Okay, so this one, the battery is dead on. But this one, you can see the green right there. See that green? So there was no oil stain there because this is driven around for two years. And look at fair right there from that area. This came in with zero PSI in it. And this was an 820 gram YF system. So this is a very expensive. And there we go. Eureka, it's a, it's a GM product. So we all know. And they never corrected this problem. After a decade, they still have this problem. And they still sip out the same condensers with the same problems. GM quality guaranteed to break down and never replace the problem, never fix the problem. Just keep it on going so they can keep selling you customers' parts. So we got a condenser here. And uh, I'm going to check it. I'm going to run it and see if the compressor wasn't damaged. And I'll feel it first, then I'll uh, run it, confirm operation, and then drain the gas back out and have him get a condenser. He's a body shop owner, so at least he has his guys do his work for him. He doesn't have to pay as much as if uh, it was just a general customer off the street with this. And that goes to show you, even after last time, when uh, I went around leak checking it, Knowing that GM condensers leak here, it still did not leak even after I filled it up and I tested it on the spot at the time when I was leaking it. Knowing that this is a leak problem, it went out two weeks later dead, flat. All right, see you guys.